But nature was not content to have only the seas populated with living things. After hundreds of millions of years of preparation, out of the water crept life. It took countless generations for gills to become lungs and flippers to evolve into wings or feet. Eventually, a profusion of crawling, flying, and running creatures claimed the land for their own. Reptiles began a 150 million year sovereignty over the planet. It was the age of the dinosaurs. They were the biggest creatures ever to walk the Earth. Gone now some 65 million years, they live on in our collective imagination. Among the departed was one of the strangest dinosaurs that ever lived. It was called Oviraptor, and it was swift, smart, and lethal. This expedition is traveling to a remote part of Mongolia to uncover the secrets of the Oviraptor's world. Michael Novacek and Mark Norell of the American Museum of Natural History come to this desolate place to piece together a puzzle of evolution and extinction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three over there, 12. <laughs> 12 eggs. All right. That's really a great fossil find because it's one of the rare instances where we can capture a little bit of behavior that's 80 million years old. Here we have a, a sort of a day in the life or, or the death of a, of a creature, of a dinosaur, in association with something it did during its life. This one was fossilized where it dropped and it happened to drop right on top of its own nest. She didn't just drop there. The good mother oviraptor was sitting on the nest. They probably brought food to their nest, as birds do. And the good mother tended her eggs. Like a bird, she prodded them into a circle. The fearsome carnivore of the Gobi was parenting. Then, with remarkable swiftness, the age of dinosaurs was over. What happened exactly remains a mystery. Many scientists believe an asteroid, perhaps six miles wide, slammed into Earth and helped snuff out the masters of the world. From our perspective, of course, uh, this mass extinction event is not a big problem because we're part of the group that survived and started evolving into bats and, and large hoofed animals and lions and tigers and bears. With the great reptiles gone, smaller but more adaptable creatures took over. Each learned to succeed in its own way. <laughs> 